In this video, we describe a simple and efficient method to visualize and analyze an untitled repertoire at a global level. It's possible to describe entire visual repertoires in individuals and their dynamic changes in response to immune stimulation. This method can be applied to analyze pathological samples from patients of emerging viral infections and to obtain the data with unprecedented insight into the pathogenesis of the infection. One of the most exciting areas for the application is vaccine control. Vaccine efficacy can be evaluated by analyzing the dynamics of global antibody repertoire in vaccine-administered individuals. The individual new to this method may need to optimize the PCR conditions because the efficiency of antibody gene amplification depends on the types of starting materials. Such as identification of hemoglobin amplicons. It is important to demonstrate these actions visually. Uh, demonstrating the procedure will be uh, Ms. Sayuri Yamaguchi and uh, Mr. Hanbin Shue, a technician and graduate student from my laboratory. To begin this procedure, dissect the tissue from an 8-week-old C57 Black 6 mouse and pass it through a stainless steel mesh with 2 milliliters of PBS to obtain dispersed cells. Transfer the cell suspension to a 2 milliliter microcentrifuge tube and centrifuge at 600 times G and at 4 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes. Discard the supernatant and add 800 microliters of ACK lysing buffer to the pellet. Incubate on ice for 2 minutes to lyse the red blood cells in the tissue. Next, watch.